Uh, Abshini, we're talking cars. Yeah, you're joining us at the Kailami Festival of Motoring today. It's here, was you want more? So it's gonna pack every car that you want, you can dream of. It's here, intoxicating sounds uh, from the V12 to V8. Uh, I don't know if there are W16 engines in here, but hey, we never know. So yeah, join me. It is gonna be fun today. It's here, was you want strong food? Are we? Are we? Are we? special car we saw as we walked in uh, a, a very special Aston Martin which was bought for next to nothing in Aston Martin prices fixed for free by the owner from the roof that couldn't open to the radiator that, that was leaking and to a slightly problematic gearbox issue anyway car looks really mint and the detailing on it is just spot on it is shining like a diamond what a beautiful car yeah a special car as well this this is the uh, the Nürburgring edition so yeah nice 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 on our left are these Fords, so it's like yeah, a bunch of Fords which are packed in, as you can see, your from your Ford Fiesta ST, your Ford Focuses are STs and RSs. It looks, 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 looks really good. It looks really good. One twenty-seven millimeter exhaust pipe for RS. I know. I wanted this one. This one stands out. This one stands out. Team ST, don't touch my car. <laughs> yeah, a bit too busy for my liking. Marayone, I had to. An acquired taste for sure. Not for me, right? It's a patrol. Oh, no, in a less out in Yana. Engine bay, quite interesting. Ah, for ST. BMW 325i or IS has always been a special one on our roads, nicknamed the Kusheshe. Uh, that's what we refer to, uh, to to this E30 shape in, in, in our roads. Always a special one. Uh, I mean, it is highly sought after, especially one in this great condition. It looks good. It has this uh, soft top as well. Yeah, there's something special about this one. And yeah, it's a, it has a very clean engine, a six cylinder, of course, and yeah. Oh, what a masterpiece i also love how uh, the bonnet opens the other way around which is just not normal and it makes it stand out a bit more so yeah we also ran into this uh, beautiful kumbi you know i love the finish on this car i just love what they did with it obviously it does not look original at all uh yeah with with uh, it's, it's basically restored white wall tires the red contrasting red and rich black colors they look amazing and this is also a split window from the front so a special car they go for a fair good amount of money and yeah what a, what a special car what a special car i have uh, a certain story about this car that i'll one day share with you guys Ah. Oh, okay. Here I was super excited thinking it's the, the Skyline GTR. I mean, who doesn't want one or like one? Yes! BMW 6 cylinder. Amazing. Amazing. Special car. 
Empower, the beautiful M5. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Special one, special tribute to this one, the Sun Skyline GTR. Japanese finest. Just uh, talking cars, we basically cleaning and washing cars. So I just bought a bit of something here. It's a cleaner works. Uh, yeah, price really fairly like in the shops. So this is what you can always get for your car. Uh, yeah, basically works, cleaner works. One of the best out there. Well, at least for me from experience. This is the one. Let's move, let's move. One of the worst engines I could ever see, ever. BMW V8. <laughs> yeah, V8, Mercedes. I don't even want to mention Audi. Oh my God. Yeah, but this is basically what an engine looks like in its entirety. This is a gearbox by Fe2. This is how it looks like. Imagine if you're having engine issues and gearbox issues. Yeah, no. Which one is this? One? Yeah. 
this is something gigantic. Maraya, Masuwa, Namusne. Simple engines. <laughs> Definitely these ones over here. Twin cam Toyota. You can see, easy to work on, nothing too complicated. Compared to uh, a Maserati engine, where are you even gonna begin? Where are you even gonna start? On to the next one. Motor style motorsport was also there, and they had this on display. The car is literally kissing the floor, it's running on air. Yeah, it looks really good. The wrap is also amazing. I think it looks really distinct. Is it to my cup of tea? Maybe the wrap, but not too much detail around the car. But I think it looks really good nonetheless. So yeah, enjoy what you are seeing right now. The Corolla Cross Hatch also makes an appearance. It's also on A, you know, uh, beautiful tires that are fitted and the black and white combination contrasting colors just look amazing i think this was a job well done if you are one of those guys who like a this is the one to look out for This is something special this is basically a road legal race car you know for for, for a 911 fan this is the one to have only if you are actually gonna take it on track it features a very high revving uh, four liter six cylinder engine it revs up to 9,000 rpms funny enough which is just crazy 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 it screams at you and then yeah you get a minimum of 386 kilowatts of power 0 to 100 some say in 2.7 seconds uh, yeah but official is, is, is 3.2 and yeah this is basically a car that's a lot has gone into it not necessarily in the power uh, uh, stakes but how they made the handling to be just uh, crisp you know, there's so many adjustments that you can make the car has been stripped to uh, a certain degree from the normal gt3 to then make way for 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 for, for aerodynamics and handling so what i'm what, what am i even talking about i'm referring to the fact that you can um, it has like active error kit so certain flaps open and, and close as you go on your speed you can really adjust for a different damping on the different um rim wheels i mean so everything like that you know there's a huge gigantic spoiler at the back which really adds a lot of downfalls and an active diffuser as also everything about this car is just like track orientated oh 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 what a special color what a special color i'm honestly not a fan of green colors but this one this one is befitting and rightfully so because this is a very special car this is a, ben a bentley continental gt uh, a le mans edition 2024 now this pays homage to bentley's success in in this competition which is a 24-hour endurance race which they they won uh six times the last win was in the year 2003 now sides you get a, a 22 inch gloss black color rims which just look amazing look really good you get quadruple tail pieces in this enclosure <laughs> nicely done i also love these circular tail lights from the back they just look amazing they do something to me now when you walk around the car you will notice on the fender there's a 24 hour scripting there which really symbolizes the 24 hour endurance race and then yeah uh, under the engine you get a 6 litre W12 engine which is basically almost like two V6 engines that are put parallel to each other and will do 0 to 103.5 seconds and if you really push it to the maximum it should cope with uh, over 315 kilometers of power now the car that last won this race was in 2003 it wore the number 7 and that's why you see the number 7 on the grill 
and then uh, uh yeah that same car that it had 32 valves 24 were chopped off and then they were cut in half to make 48 so this car funny enough it's a, it's a limited production run where only 48 owners will get to own the car so each of those valves are in the car so just right next to your digital uh, uh i don't know what to call them digital dials on the dashboard you will get a valve as a lucky owner so yeah there's a lot to say about this car but it's extremely rare and quite special so yeah people are lucky out there now this is the bentley flying spare v8 you can also get a, a hybrid option uh, i'm more of a bentley flying spare s type of guy which looks a lot more mean aggressive with like blacked out kidney grills well not kidney grills what am i thinking here bmw is that you uh, yeah grills and, and and just wheels and so forth so i like that a lot more this is more of a classy older more mature approach to this car which just looks amazing and uh, the pricing is there in front of you not too bad not too bad at all i think this is just uh it encompasses luxury and performance and, and you know puts it nicely together on the interior quilted leather soft touch points everywhere luxury 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 at its finest i mean you can only compare this to an rr yeah the wheels as i mentioned yeah for a more mature audience or driver or owner on the right you get a, a bentega which is ah, it's okay came across this one uh yeah i'm tired of using the word special <laughs> let's say very interesting offering this is a mclaren and yeah you can see like this uh, mirror sh mirror like shine uh, remember the works that we bought earlier we try to replicate this obviously this is detailed you know this is uh, on display by detail ease haven't used any of their products but uh, you can clearly see that it gives you like a, a shine bright like a diamond type of look so i'm um, that's that's proper thumbs up for that there's a very distinct note which says do not touch so i, I won't be touching i'm kidding but i did touch at the end like i, I swiped my finger there couldn't help myself ladies and gentlemen now that you've seen what this car costs i now present to you the lamborghini rivalto this is basically the first high performance electrified vehicle hybrid super sports car it is feature packed it is technologically advanced 
it basically comes equipped with a v12 engine which is naturally aspirated and revs up to 9500 rpms that is coupled to three electric motors which send power well the front the first two send power to the front axles independently of one another which is just crazy technology it's called take torque vectoring and that's basically what it allows you to do so it, it adapts to uh, driving position driving points and driving feel at the time to really just cater for this world in, in in accordance with it so maybe let's say you're on the track and you're exiting a connected at a certain speed it will really calculate as to how much power it needs to send to the specific wheel the inner or the outer one and then just you know uh, apply the torque accordingly so which is just crazy it's crazy technology now anyway what do the numbers look like zero to hundred and two point five seconds you will be easily to, you will be able to drive at over 350 kilometers per hour at the autobahn uh basically yeah it features an eight speed dual clutch setup which is called a special automatic because it also adapts to the dry driving conditions at the time so whether it be ct or track driving it will really adapt accordingly and yeah just a whole lot of uh yeah crazy crazy so it features a, a, a 4456 uh vehicle weight dis distribution between the front and the rear axles and then yeah top speed high touched on that it is a crazy car it's also named after a specific bull in in in, in, in italy which is just yeah something else so without uh talking too much on the car interior overview won't really get into that but it being a lamborghini we can only imagine what it looks like uh soft leather here and the interestingly designed uh contours uh just the dials will be different will be gigantic they will be in your face they will be quite distinct uh quite angular that's the perception i have with lamborghinis you know when they do something they go all out anyway from the rear you do get this uh quadruple exhaust setup which is just housing these two big uh, ex exit pieces if i can call them call it that and yeah the gearbox and the engine are at the back and you get a really special car you know a lot of weight saving has gone into it a lot of technology but without really going too deep into it let's just see and enjoy what the ah the mustang gt500 oh, what a special car what a special machine look at it so one thing that really stands out for me, I think this is really a, an iconic car from a very iconic scene. I just remember this car like flying through a tunnel and, you know, there's basically water there and splashing through and the guy is like really hitting it. And then the guys who are chasing these guys, uh, yeah, so basically he's on a walkie-talkie and he's requesting for an air unit. And then the guy with the, you know, let's call it the pilot, and he's basically saying, suspect is traveling uh, southbound at 90 miles per hour. And then all of a sudden the driver hits nose on his nozzle and then the car flies through and then you hear the guy speaking on the walkie talkie like suspect is increased speed to 100 to 9 220 miles per hour 140 150 160 he's gone and then the other guy says damn and the other guy that's with him which which is the co-driver you know the police guy he's like damn this guy can drive and then the guy looks at him like what what and he just says it's most probably the car and it was the car and it was gone in 60 seconds what a special car Shit my pants in the car, never. <laughs> <laughs>